here is a case of under dilatation in supine PCNL. Bleeding has happened. Now how to manage is the video. Junior was doing. He has done RGP. Very easy appearing for puncture. Nicely he punctured. And uh, when the guide wire is passed, I thought he will do the case. I was watching the guide wire is in place and the guide wire has gone into ureter, guide wire has gone into the upper. See the dilatation. It is reasonably okay. But somehow, if the guide wire is too much coiled, it's not a good case. See like this, then it will not give clue. And this guide wire you should not trace. That is a mistake he is doing. If the guide wire goes into the ureter, you can trace it. If it is coiled multiple times, you should not trace. And there is no point spending time when the stone is not seen at all. This is all extra capsular extension. So immediately ampla sheath removed, middle calyx puncture is done. So and pressure is applied for some time being on the abdomen and that guide wire has gone into the ureter. After that a little more slowly dilatation up to the stone is done by the senior and then now completely there is no damage to the mucosa nicely seen. Previous dilatation is under dilatation there is nothing wrong but under dilatation manipulation over the coiled guide wire to enter the kidney is futile attempt and it is dangerous. During that process any parenchymal bleeder happens major it may bleed and patient may go into hypotension. Whereas if you remove it and put pressure on the skin and uh, break the stone and then uh, if you put nephrostomy and then it is better. So ultimately if the guide wire enters into ureter it is better. If the guide wire coils into the pelvis is okay. But if the guide wire is coiling in the calyx irregularly, if under dilatation happens, don't trace the guide wire and try to see the stone. It is not easy. Thank you.